Party Shadow Immigration Minister, thanks for joining us. And let me ask you, first of all, for your reaction to what we've heard today from Swella Bravman. Well, look, it, we're absolutely clear that the, the small boats are a very bad thing. I mean, it, it, people are risking their lives on the channel. Evil people smuggler gangs are making millions of pounds out of this. So there's no disagreement about that. The disagreement is about how to address the issue. And the way to address the issue is to do a returns deal with uh, the European Union. Uh, it is to crack down on the people smuggler gangs by uh, cancelling the unworkable, unethical and unaffordable Rwanda policy and using that money to boost our security and police force and to have capped and limited uh, safe and legal routes. Th that's the way. It's about doing the hard yards, if you like, the nitty gritty work that is required, the, the quiet diplomacy and negotiation with the European Union, not throwing red meat to Tory backbenchers, uh, adding uh, more and more pressure onto our asylum system, which has already been broken after 13 years of Conservative rule, and having these completely unworkable ideas around detaining people and then saying we're going to remove them. Well, where will the government remove them to? Okay. It doesn't have any returns deals. The Rwanda scheme's not up and running. So the, the whole thing, I'm afraid, is just more empty rhetoric from the government. OK, well, let's talk about your... Uh potential plans to create these return deals with who and how are you going to create returns deals? So we need a returns deal with uh, the European Union. Of course, the most important countries there are the, the so-called Calais group uh, along the, the, the uh, coastline, France, uh, Belgium, etc. Um, that deal needs to be, of course, where the UK uh, puts uh, a, an offer on the table around how many uh, asylum seekers we should take. In return, uh, the European Union accepts that people who come on small boats should be returned. Uh, and of course, that's the way to break the people smugglers, because nobody's going to pay five or ten thousand pounds to a people smuggler uh, when they know that uh, when they arrive in the UK, they'll be returned to continental Europe. We then need upstream processing, working with our European partners and allies, getting a strategy across Europe to address this issue so that we take our fair share. Other European Union countries do the same. Uh, and that is the way that we will smash the people smugglers, stop people taking these extremely dangerous uh, journeys. Uh, and of course, added to that, we need that clear line on uh, safe and legal routes and uh, clear investment in the intelligence and security services so that they can go after the people smugglers and stop their trade in human misery. Isn't it the case that the Tory party, the Conservative Party, have really laid down the gauntlet here when it comes to dealing with small boats and the issue of illegal migration? They don't believe that this is a priority for Labour moving forward to the next election. Is that a problem for Labour, do you think? This is perceived to not be a big priority for Keir Starmer. Well, the first duty of, of any government is the protection of our borders and of the public realm. Uh, and so it, it goes without saying that this is a top priority for the Labour Party. And uh, it's absolutely clear that we have a Conservative government that after 13 years has completely lost control of our borders and of our asylum system. 166,000 people in the system here in the UK waiting for decisions on their asylum applications, costing the British British taxpayer £7 million a day in hotel bills. So the government, rather than chasing headlines, throwing red meat, uh, having more empty rhetoric, recycling and rehashing legislation, which they already passed the Nationality and Borders Act last year, several hundred pages of densely worded legislation, rather than carrying on with all these gimmicks, the government should actually do the nitty gritty work, the quiet diplomacy with the European Union and the other um, detailed work that is required to pragmatically, compassionately and competently tackle this issue. Stephen Kinnock, thank you.